Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. This Bible story comes in two parts. The first part we call the Annunciation, and the second part the Magnificat. It comes from Luke chapter 1. In the Annunciation, an angel, Gabriel, comes to Mary and foretells that she will have a baby, and that'll be the baby Jesus. Then Mary gets so happy, she sings a song of joy, and we call that song the Magnificat. So get ready. Here's the first part, the Annunciation. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came near to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was much perplexed by his words, and pondered just what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. Jesus will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, But how could this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, Oh, don't worry. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who is said to be bearing, for nothing will be impossible for God. And then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed. Well, that's the first part of our story called the Annunciation. Can you pronounce that word? Annunciation. Now we turn to the second part called the Magnificat. And we give it that name because Mary uses the word magnify. Mar uh, Mary is so happy, she sings this song, and it goes like this. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For God has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. God has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his descendants forever. So that ends our story from the Gospel of Luke. Remember, the first part is called the Annunciation. 
See if you can say that word enunciation. And then the second part is called the Magnificat. The Magnificat. Say that word, Magnificat. That ends our Bible story. Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids.